We have the mail now, and this feels like much more solid ground for us. Angela Rayner still hasn't learnt the first thing about bear traps. Well, exactly. I, I saw you tweeting about this yesterday. Yes. Uh, Labour gets itself in another transgender tangle as Deputy Angela Rayner says it doesn't matter if trans double rapist Isla Bryson has a penis during grilling over whether attackers should be in a woman's prison. Mm. So this was an interview that was in the Sunday Times. Yep. I thought it was a very good interview. Decker Aitkenhead. Yes, and I thought she uh, and I thought it, um, Angela Rayner came across really well. I didn't mm. know a lot about her backstory, and she definitely uh, she's overcome some significant hardships and almost, you know, teenage. Mom. I mean, it's almost borders on the ludicrous just how hard her life yeah, was. Just absolutely. one thing so after all of another, a, all of a twist off, off the scale. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, and the, and it's and you and full of respect for what she's achieved. And then right near the end of the interview, the trans thing comes up. And she just falls apart mm. and she cannot give proper answers because, of course, they're still towing this ridiculous line of, of you know, trans women yeah. being women, essentially, and, and essentially defending the rights of this double rapist, male rapist, or at least putting them on a par with women's safety. Yeah. And it's like, of course, we, we, this person deserves to be safe, this double rapist. But at the same time, not in any way, but not not to the level of like at the the cost of women's sense of safety or or, or real. The thing about this is, I mean, uh, for, it's been going on for I don't know, eighteen months, two years, or something uh, in the Scottish Parliament. Obviously, the trans has been going on for longer than that. There's been not ample opportunity for politicians to kind of address the fact that they were caught up in a in a cognitive dissonance. They'd they committed to a certain line of thinking without realizing that it would come back and eat its own tail. But they're, they've entered the stage now where they're, they're confabulating like somebody with a, you know, with a severed... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you know, when the, uh, when the brain has... There's an operation on the brain and, and, and half of it doesn't understand yeah. what the other half the is. Leftist ideology is never held back by reality. <laughs> I mean, look at the Soviet Union. Millions starve and they still say, no, this is good. Mouths, yeah. they're saying, no, we should shoot all the sparrows. It'll create a utopia, even though it, it makes the famine worse. So never underestimate the, the ability of leftists to, to throw bodies... Under, under the wheel of whatever I think, uh, right wing, ideology. right-wing people can also do that as well. No? Well, it, there, is, there is definitely the capacity for human beings to... Funnily enough, there's a guy, I think his name is... Uh, is oh God, Connor Fitz, um, something. From, uh, for, he's talking about the way the consensus shifts in Ireland, specifically. Ireland, he says, as a smaller population, there is um, a greater risk of being cast out of society if you go against consensus. Right. Essentially, you'll, a lot of people live in what amounts to a large village there, you know. And so, and so a kind of a, uh, a surface of consensus can be sustained for a long time mm. after it's rotting beneath the surface. Like the Catholic you know. Church. Exactly, as the example he gives, you know, which was maybe 40 years ago now or mm. something like that, finally gave way almost overnight yeah. from being a virtual theocracy. I mean, it was almost on a level with Iran, wasn't it, yeah. at one point? You know, <laughs> the weather to, just suddenly... Good. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. how <laughs> Labour haven't learnt the lessons of the SNP, yeah. where you have Labour in Scotland voting for this self-ID yeah. bill, you've got Labour in Wales voting, yeah. they're still trying to put it through after seeing what's happened in Scotland. It's like... And to what benefit? No, no palpable benefit that I can see. There's no significant the, and the, lobby the public for don't, it. The voters don't want it. No. Certainly not a majority, you know, it's extraordinary. Anyway.